M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the ICOM IC2820 transceiver, released 2007, GPS, D-Star, wide band received to about 810 megahertz, proper dual band, and look at that screen to die for, a screen that changes color as well, easy to program with all the buttons on the front, independent controls right and left, and quite fast scanning, so this, this when it came out and you had the, the handhelds, which was the IC9192, followed on by these transceivers, and I've got the E880 model here as well, they were fantastic in their day, and if you had one of these, you, you know, you were at the cutting edge, of, uh, of digital communication and VHF and UHF. As it says here, D-Star digital voice communication with a GPS receiver built into the U2. Pretty sure it's the 133, the name of the module, 50 watt output, output and wideband with diversity received capability. So it had two antenna connections and it would choose the one that had the best signal. So we've got a lovely brochure here from ICOM, and I will put in the description all the download links for software ETC. So I'll just read some of the, the headings and then we'll end the video. So it says, Wideband received simultaneous received capability. Actually shows here, 810 to 1000 megahertz dual watch receiver capability. So that, that's like, wow. Um, you've got the diversity receive, 50 watts, user-friendly operation, separate controller from the main unit. So yeah, it sort of holds on the back of the unit. It's, there's a metal plate. And so you can remove it easily just by pulling it off. There's no screws. And then there's a, a separation unit that you can use to put it anywhere you like in the car. Uh, 522 memory channel. It does actually have a scope. Look at that. I didn't realize it even had a scope. So you've got a band scope and it says here, uh, another, it says the other features, green to amber variable display background. Right, I get it. So these are the different colors you can change the screen to. So it goes green and then you get this orange color and then nearly a red color. Yeah, I remember using that. So that's very nice. That's a very nice feature. Of course, DTMF it has automatic attenuation. ALC and uh, microphone level control, Tomba, CTCSS. You can see on the right there, the GPS screen, once you've got a lot, you do need the uh, an antenna, but these antennas, if you haven't got your one, they're just, uh, they're literally like seven pound. I've got a few lying around here. So D-Star, the, there it is there, the UT123 is the module, and it's quite a big module, but very easy to install if you haven't already got one. I've seen them for sale. Uh, you can buy them freely, at the, even now. So if you've got one of these lying around, dig it out. I'll be digging mine out and doing some tutorial videos on this device. I mean, it's a fantastic transceiver. Yeah, it's 20 years old, let's say, maybe more. Um, but that's that's what we say about ham radio equipment. And that is, it does actually last. It does actually last. So videos to follow. Bye for now, 7-3.